Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're going to show you what to do when upgrading your Edge OS firmware fails. So I'm signed into my Edge Router X in the lab and typically upgrading the device's firmware is a pretty simple process. You would start by coming down to the system tab, coming over to where it says upgrade system image, check for firmware updates at Ubiquiti's website, download the update, and then you would click on update a file. The router would then process that image file and then request a reboot and usually all goes well. But every once in a while, it will come back with a failure message. So what do you do? Well, according to the help document at the UBNT website, it's called Edge Router Upgrading Edge OS Firmware, and I'll put the link to this down in the video description. It says right here, currently, two firmware images can be stored on the Edge Router. And they give their reasons as to why, but then when you scroll down here, it says in yellow, attention. If the firmware fails to install, it is likely that the Edge Router storage is full. So if that is the case, what do you do? Stay tuned and I'll show you. So to resolve the issue of the firmware upgrade failing, we need to go into the router's command line. The easiest way to do that is by using the CLI tab in the upper right hand corner of the screen. It'll give you a login window. Now I'm going to log into the CLI using the default credentials because it's just a lab router. Be sure to change your credentials if you're using your router in production. Once you're signed in, you want to check to see how many images you have installed on the router. And you do that by simply using the show system image command. And you can see here it says the system currently has the following images installed. Version 1.10.3. Now yours may vary and it's the current running image and it has a backup image of 1.9.7 hot fix 4. Now, if we refer quickly back to the help article, it said currently two firmware images can be stored on the Edge router, and if the firmware fails, it's likely because the Edge router storage is full. What we need to do is delete the backup image. Now, before we delete the backup image, if you want to see exactly how much space the images are taking up, you just modify that original command and say show system image storage. And now it'll show you the two images and also the amount of space that the images are taking up. However, at this point, we know we have to remove the backup image. So we're going to do that by using the delete command. So it's delete system image. And don't worry, I know that sounds scary, but the router knows not to delete the running image. It's going to delete the backup image. So when you hit enter, you're getting a confirmation message. You are about to delete the image and it shows you here version 1.9.7 hotfix 4, which in my case is the backup image. Are you sure you want to delete? So I'm going to type yes. And it's removing the old image. So I had to log back into the edge router. What had happened was the doorbell rang and I stepped away because I'm expecting a delivery that I had to sign for. When I got back, the router was asking me to reconnect. So I, I do apologize for the interruption. I'm logged back in and in the last segment we had just completed the removal of that backup image using the delete system image command. So now that I'm logged back in, let's confirm that the image actually was deleted by using the show system image command. And now you can see that the system only has the running image and that that backup image was removed. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you try to run the firmware upgrade now at this point, it should install successfully. And I'm not going to do that because I want to save the firmware upgrade for this particular lab router uh, for another video where I'll update it using the UNMS software. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.